Now, down to some serious decision making. <laughs> right, are you thinking serious brown accountancy side pad or fun colourful octopus for ideas? Fun colourful octopus for ideas, definitely. My concerns about those two as a pair is that he's kind of the blind lead in the mind, really. Five most important things, maybe. Hmm. Let's just go to the pub. Let's go to the pub, yeah? Let's go to the pub. <laughs> All I want to know, really, I guess, is what don't I want? I know stuff... Um, well, what don't you want? I don't want a church. Vicky's not going to want a church. I don't know that the venue's going to be the most important thing to her for the ceremony. As long as the dress is all right, it should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll do it. Ratio, ratio. But it's not just the dress that matters to Vicky. She spent years dreaming up a vision for her big day. I would say my taste is, is uh, very girly and traditional, and floaty and lacy. Um, lots of fairy lights and, and materials and almost Grecian in style. That's what I'd like ideally for a wedding. A Grecian wedding in Leeds. At Wedding HQ, the boys are finally knuckling down. I think you've got the wrong number. Okay, sorry. You dick. How have you taken down the wrong number? It's not a good start. Thank you for calling your venue. Well, let's not bust our brains about this anymore. Let's do what Sundays were built for. Yeah, well, nothing. Those two can quite easily sit and spend days doing absolutely nothing and not even realise where the time's gone. That looks well hard. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky's not so happy doing nothing. She's trying to pass the time with Chief Bridesmaid Yet Ming. We have been talking about weddings since we were probably 15, 16 years old. The one thing I wish more than anything is your dress is perfect. And my hair and makeup. Because yeah. I think because there's no point in having an absolutely drop dead gorgeous dress. That's true. If Silly hair. my hair is covered in ten tons of lacquer. Mm -hmm. And the bridesmaids' dresses. They are my main things. It will be perfect, I'm sure. That is a lot to get perfect. Well, a venue would be a good start. Still, at least the boys are finally on their way to see one. Looks well nice around here, doesn't it? Vicky has grand designs for her wedding. She's taking another of her bridesmaids, Elaine, to check out the only place she wants to tie the knot. Oh, it's so nice, isn't it? Ripley Castle. Nestled in the North Yorkshire countryside, this is exactly what our Queen Victoria wants for her big day. Oh, it's completely unspoiled, isn't it? It's just beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. The boys have something rather different in mind. They've arrived at their first venue. The Red Lion Hotel will be a nice one, man. Hi, oh, Stuart. Hi, nice to meet you. You're right. Yeah. yeah. I'm the kid. I'm the best man. I'm sure I'm the room. The happy couple are shown the simple rustic charms of the Red Lion. Oh wow! Look at that chandelier. Oh, so this is the room where you'd have your meal. Oh, it's really nice, isn't it? Pretty this, isn't it? This would be where some ceremonies held. This is what we're looking for, really, yeah. this kind of thing. I want my wedding to be better than any wedding that I've ever yeah. been to or any wedding that I'm ever going to go to. I'd want cut glass champagne glasses, fancy knives and forks. And the point of your wedding day is that everything is just a bit more special yeah. than what you would normally have. At the moment, thumbs up for this place, man. I'd struggle to find any negatives about yeah, it. Definitely. I think I'd get married here, which is a start, isn't it? Yeah, so it's just definitely. now second-guessing whether Vicky would. Now, what would Vicky want? A castle or a pub? Castle, pub. Hmm. It really does tick all the boxes, doesn't it? Mm. Which is why I would love to get married in a place like Ripley Castle. Mm. For Stuart, it's the red lion that ticks all the boxes. But even he knows he needs to look at something more traditional. To the venue mobile. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, quick! We've got venues to look at! Newburgh Priory, 
founded in 1145 and set in 6,000 acres, including exquisite ornamental gardens, and completely wasted on these boys. Nice big uh, hedge boobies on the side. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice though, isn't it? You can't really say fairer than this. I am. Nice one. Look at this. I feel like I need a sword. This looks more like it. Vicky would definitely give this place her seal of approval. If I'm going with gut instinct, the, the minute that I was outside here, I was like, be nice. And when I got in there, I was like, medieval. Smells like a cathedral. Um, a bit dingy. Would she prefer something that's more grand while like this? Or would she prefer something that's like more, you know, like I say, homely, country, cottagey? I don't know, my head's a bit of a muddle at the moment because I can see how Vicky might look at this and I could see how I could be so off the mark with what I'm saying. I just don't like the way it looks. Did you not think it was all a bit gothic? At the Red Lion, the food is there and made a number and that's like two jobs, two birds, one Johnny. This is... It's <laughs> <laughs> the last thing is... I expected you to say. <laughs> I've talked myself out of this and I think I needed to do that. Yeah. Good chatting. Good chatting. Good chatting, Chief. Sweet. Stuart couldn't be more off the mark. He's turning his back on the Priory <laughs> and booking the pub. Time for a sit down with the manager. Music lover Stuart has his own ideas for entertainment. Have we thought about music in the evening? Yeah, we have. Whatever it's going to be, we're obviously going to organise it. And that is a total of? 4557 pounds 20. It is. Bargain. So Queen Vic is getting hitched at the Red Lion. Mm -hmm.